Hello, Rebecca, and welcome to GRA 310. Um, I wanted to make a video for you, and I was hoping that you would allow me to post it in the general discussions board. Um, the reason for that is that you're not alone. Uh, you say that you're new to web design, well, so aren't most of your colleagues here. So I'm going to address each of your questions in your email to me, and um, then with your permission, of course, I will post this on the general discussions board. Thank you. Uh, Rebecca, you, you're asking the question about whether you should use Brackets or Dreamweaver. Well, they're both web editors, Brackets and Dreamweaver. Uh, Dreamweaver evolved along with page layout programs, and it bears some of uh, page layout programs, uh, print page layout programs features. Brackets, however, is um, perhaps more code oriented, but uh, it really doesn't matter which one. Dreamweaver is introduced in week five of this class. Um, I would recommend that you add to your quiver of tools uh, a text, more text-like editor like Brackets, as well as a WYSIWYG editor like Dreamweaver, just knowing that they're both accomplish the same things. Um, but you can use any number of uh, web code editors out there, and you might consider doing some research uh, about those that are free. Now, Brackets is free, and um, for that reason, I think the university chose it. That's also widely used, uh, and uh, it's pretty lightweight. You know, it doesn't occupy a lot of space on your computer. So I would go ahead and install it, um, maybe do a screenshot that you know, shows me that you've done so. That way, you can meet the requirements of the rubric. Here's the, <clears throat> excuse me, here's the Brackets uh, website. Now, notice the domain name. And the interesting domain extension uh, happens to be I.O. Well, um, <clears throat> comes to find out that the meaning behind the I.O. domain name, and this is, you know, it's always good to keep your eye on domain names. Um, it has a little bit of history here, but it stands for input output. So it is a hot new domain name extension for the tech industry. Once you've downloaded Brackets uh, and installed it, you'll get a window that you know looks something like this. I happen to be on a Macintosh um, at the moment, and but I have downloaded the most recent version of Brackets. All right, so <clears throat> up here, uh, off screen, you'll see under File, uh, Create New. So just go ahead and do that for now. Now, when you um, Rebecca, once you've installed Brackets and uh, you've opened it. Uh, you'll get something like this. It's very not. It's not very helpful. And it's very intimidating. This is pure HTML. Um, but it, you know, reading through it, you'll see that um, it is a you know introduction to brackets, um, and <clears throat> you'll quickly get used to seeing these codes. You'll notice that they have a left and right caret, I guess, and um, that's opening and closing. You'll see when you you close a code with a slash. And that's always necessary. Otherwise, you know, that's when you troubleshoot your HTML, that's one thing you'll learn. Anyway, do the best you can to, to uh, view through this. Know that Brackets is a more of a, you know, um, it focuses more on code. Um, and then we'll get to Dreamweaver in just a second. Now, you asked about some of the other resources, the HTML5 uh, foundations, and also the W3 schools. Um, let me show you where those are. So here we are. Uh, it, it may, this may look different. Actually, let me change this to view a student. This may look different. Um, all right, so module one. Um, go to module one specification and design standards, and you'll find HTML5 foundations there. Um, you may be prompted to enter your uh, SNHU user ID and password. Um, but anyway, the readings are for this week, or some of them are right here. Here's where you can find HTML5 foundations. Now I've logged in. Um, I have, you know, gotten access to the resources. I think before the class started, um, as an instructor, call IT if you have any problems, and don't hesitate to you know reach out to me. So Rebecca, uh, when you click on that link, and if you've logged into your SNHU account, um, you should get a URL, that's what, uh, what this is called, a web address, that looks something like this, and it's through the library. 
Uh, if you scroll down here, you'll find the uh, the chapters. Uh, I think this week it's uh, chapters one and perhaps two. Anyway, uh, it's pretty clear. Um, you know, it reads much like the brackets page, except without all the HTML behind it. Um, so take a look through it. Uh, make that reading. Now the other resource uh, is the uh, this is HTML Foundations. The other resource is very easy to get to. It's free for anybody, um, and it is the W three C Here's the other uh, resource. It's the W three Schools dot com. W three stands for you know World Wide Web. So it's uh, W three times. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to copy this code, okay? And it's the HTML tutorial. Um, I, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go back to brackets, which I just installed. Uh, here's brackets. And then, um, I better move this up here. Here's brackets. I, don't, I hope you can see this. Maybe I should move this up just a tad bit more. Um, I'm going to go up under here, File, New. And I'm going to paste that bit of code, Command V, Command C, right there. Now, <laughs> this essentially fulfills your coding requirement for week one. But let's take a look at it. Um, here's the document type declaration. We know it's going to be HTML. It stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And the note, you know, we're beginning a com command, we have to close it. The backslash means that. You think, think of all these things as being nested. Um, this is in brackets. Now, you can change these things. Uh, we wanted one head. So, I mean, you could, you could change it to whatever you want. And then you're going to save it. Okay. Now, the title probably will be something like, uh, you, could, you could make it week uh, one. Um, uh, code and then uh, this begins the body you, you can insert you know any anything you want for text um, note that you'll have to close a paragraph open it and close it and even though you know if I code this let me copy this many times quickly here just going to paste it Now I've created how many paragraphs here? One, two, three, four, five, six. And when we preview this, uh, you'll see that each one of these is a line break. So to create paragraphs, you're going to have to close them. Plus your paragraphs are going to be more than just one. Now you would think that by keying in or having a line break, that I'd be making more, par more paragraphs, but no, that's deceptive. This is all one long line actually when we preview it. Now about that, you're going to uh, save it as something, and probably save to your desktop. Now um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll talk more about web servers later, but uh, I'm just going to save this as oops, uh, save it somewhere uh, just on my desktop for the purpose of demonstration, and I'm going to call it index.html. Very important. All right, and then I'm going to save. All right, so I'm going to open this up in Dreamweaver next because you asked about Dreamweaver, and Dreamweaver is a good thing to preview web pages in. Again, um, I don't want to confuse you, but you have downloaded and installed Dreamweaver. It's part of the Creative Suite. Um, so uh, <clears throat> just bear in mind that you, know, you won't have to approach it until week five. Okay, so here's Dreamweaver. Um, I'm going to just go up here. I'm going to create a new file just as I did in brackets. All right, so um, this is the uh, Dreamweaver. We're going to want to make a page of HTML, so choose that. Okay, remember the w3schools.com um, tutorial. I'm going to, again, copy the code provided there. All right, so I, I've pasted the uh, code from the W3 schools. Now, Rebecca, you might get something like this. Part of this week's discussion is, or thoughts are, what do you consider clean code? A couple things, you know, uh, we're in Dreamweaver. It's showing me that there's some errors here. 
one thing about uh, clean code is not having empty lines. So I'm going to get rid of those and see if that uh, what that does. Okay, so I still have an error here. Um, also, you might want to hit view. I think it's refresh often. Um, I'm getting some special characters here. Uh, it's going to require some troubleshooting, but that's that's the idea. Maybe because I have two end HTMLs here. So let me see if I get rid of one of those. Again, that's all part of clean code, and see what happens when I refresh. Okay, not much. Once again, though, you're going to save this, uh, save as index.html. Now, you're probably going to want to uh, put it in a different folder. And uh, so what I might, you know, what you might, because remember, you already have an index.html um, from uh, the brackets. Now, for this reason, you know, uh, Dreamweaver, which is more WYSIWYG, um, I would be careful about, you know, launching into it just yet. You might consider waiting till week five. Okay, I hope that, that answers most of your questions, Rebecca. And if not, uh, please shoot me an email.